So I've made my taste in music, I've made my taste in video games, and now we're doing my taste in reading. I know a lot of people don't like to read. I don't think that there's an issue with that. I think everybody has their own way of relaxation. And if you don't find reading relaxing, I don't really see the need to go out and do it. With that being said though, there are some really good books out there that a lot of people just either haven't read or haven't read in a long time. And so that's what I wanna shed some light on today. Just because I'm saying, you know, one book, I really am referring to the entire book series or like the entire world, I guess. And so the first one is probably the most unoriginal one, and that'd be Harry Potter. I didn't really get into it until later on in the book's life cycle. But with that being said, I, I really do think that it's one of my favorite books of all time. JK Rowling, even though I don't really, you know, think that she's the best person or the best writer for that matter, I think that she does a great job of laying out the world in a way that's really innovative and fun and exciting, especially for targeted are the targeted audience i really love harry and i really love his growth and development as a character throughout the series and i really like you know how voldemort plays into it all how they're two you know pieces to the same puzzle i guess and how they have to constantly you know show that rivalry and have those experiences with one another and that really is, makes the book something special in my opinion another thing i really love about those books is the houses i do not like how you know, every Slytherin is bad in the books because that just, that just touches me the wrong way, I guess. But with that being said, I think overall it does a good job of, of just like making a cool and fun world. And, you know, I love how she's been able to like tie it into the real world as well with like the wizarding world. And there's a bunch of movies and stuff as well that can, you know, really make it reach to a larger audience other than those who just, you know, read the books themselves. And so it's one of my favorite books of all time. My second one is probably the most unheard of one. This book series is called Magisterium. This is very similar to Harry Potter. The Magisterium is a wizarding school just like Hogwarts is. And even though it's very similar to Harry Potter overall, I feel like the writers of this book does a better job of creating more relatable characters I guess you get to see these characters have true feelings and true emotion and I feel like the writers Cassandra Clare and I forget the other one but I feel like both the writers just do a really good job of laying out this world and making the characters seem more real I guess by showing emotion and and having these real incidences of humility and other things like that that makes it something more special than just you know a blatant ripoff of Harry Potter I also like the overarching question of this entire series more than Harry Potter. I'm not going to spoil it, but just go out and read it. It's very similar to the, to the Harry Potter books. It's a wizarding world. They have magic. These people are, are a group of kids who work together and other things like that. And so I highly suggest reading it. The next book is by Neil Shusterman, and it's not the one that you guys are thinking of. I talked about Scythe in the past, but this series is not Scythe. It's Unwind or the Unwind series, I guess. It's very similar to the Psy series, except it's more focused on the question of what is life, not necessarily what is life without death, if that makes any sense. It follows um, three main characters in a world where basically at any time, if you're a, a teenager, you can be used for organ donors and it sounds really weird i'm not gonna lie it really does sound weird with that being said though it's a really really good read it makes you question you know what is life how do we determine it and there's just a lot of cool cool stuff that goes on and i cannot recommend it enough it's honestly it's probably my second favorite book series ever but the last one though is my most favorite book series it's really an entire universe i feel bad just you know saying a series but it's the Percy Jackson series. Rick Riordan is the freaking goat of young adult novels. He just releases banger after banger after banger. I really like a lot of his series, even those outside of the Percy Jackson series, but nothing beats Percy Jackson and the, the Heroes of Olympus series. They, they just are really awesome and epic. For those of you guys unfamiliar with the series, the Percy Jackson books follow, the books follow obviously Percy Jackson. He's a teenage boy, but he's not had the life of most teenage boys. He is the son of Poseidon and a mortal woman. And he grows up just not fitting in, 
not, you know, following the crowd. But he comes to realize that he's a demigod, son of a mortal and son of a god. And so it just talks about his adventures with his friends and just growing up in a world that isn't as clear as it may seem. I think the thing that it did for me, like the most as I was reading it, it's just instilled the adventurer's mindset into me. Like, I feel like the adventurer's mindset is something that we think is lost in today's society. But being able to like step back and see, you know, these youthful children go on these huge adventures that are larger than life really makes you, you know, respect, you know, the things that you find anxiety filled and all that type of stuff. But it's just overall a really great series. All the side characters have like these own great and amazing stories as well. Overall, just the entire world, the entire supporting cast, everything about it makes it, you know, one of the greatest book series of all time and i'm really 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 excited for the for the disney plus series that will be coming out on it and i know that i'm going to be watching that looking at it from the standpoint of the book alone percy jackson is just moi 10 out of 10 series if you're going to watch or if you're going to read any book out of any of these i'd highly recommend reading percy jackson other than that guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i know that these videos are a little bit more lighthearted and easier going than usual but i just wanted to get a video out to you guys because i have good news i finally completed my summer courses and i cannot tell you guys how excited i am to finally be done or by done i mean have a short break until school starts up again but yeah i just want to thank you guys say i thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thank you guys for all the support and love we're really really close to 500 subscribers and so it's really you know it truly is amazing just to be able to, be able to post this this type of content i never you know thought whenever i started that i'd be able to amass you know 500 subscribers i didn't think i'd have you know one subscriber because that wasn't my goal or intention getting into it but now that i'm doing it and now that there's an audience who i can rely on to you know hear my perspective and just enjoy my opinion i guess it's really is something cool to see if you guys have any questions comments concerns feel free to tell them down below also tell me what your guys's favorite books are or just any general media if you guys don't read books other than that boys and girls once again peace out